Stephanie's cheesecake. It's my first time making it. I finally got a Springer pan, I think it's called. I'll show you. It's one of these that you need and they open up from here. And then you just um, open it and then it pushes the cake up. So with this kind of cake, because it is um, fluffy, uh, you need this kind of pan, or you can get one of those that pop up as well. There's some that uh, are not spring form, but they still um, have a push-up uh, tray that you can use. So you can also use those, but I finally found one at the thrift store, so that's what I'm going to be using. So the recipe required um, 70 grams of mozzarella and 20 grams of cheddar cheese, but I didn't have cheddar so I added the additional 20 of mozzarella. And I'll go over all the ingredients and then um, I'll show you how I prepare it. This recipe I got from the website called craftpassion.com. So if you're interested in getting the full details and all that, you can go to craftpassion.com and that's where I picked up the recipe. So I'm, it's my first time, like I said, trying to make this Japanese cheesecake, which is a fluffy, kind of jiggly kind of cake. And it does take about an hour, I believe, to cook in the oven under um, water bath. So hopefully it comes out. If not, um, I'll be making another one. But a different one. So let's get to it. The ingredients are, and I have it written here, 250 grams of cream cheese. So like I mentioned before, it's 70 grams of mozzarella and 20 grams of cheddar. But like I said, I don't have cheddar, so I added the other 20 of um, mozzarella. So this is a total of 80 grams of mozzarella. And then you're going to need six large eggs and you're going to divide it so you'll need six egg yolks and then six egg whites 50 grams of whipping cream 70 grams of unsalted butter 70 grams of erythrol one tablespoon of lemon juice and then vanilla um, extract and you can add that as you please or how much you want for your taste and you'll need cream of tartar for the meringue. You're going to spray it with butter and then you'll wrap it with um, parchment paper. What you can do is fold your wax paper in half and at the half point just trace the Ahead of time, I just want to apologize for my nails. They're kind of, I need to uh, redo them, but I didn't have time to do that. So, over here, I have, I don't have a double boiler, but I modified it and I put a bigger pan on the bottom with a smaller one on the top with water in there. So, we'll start melting the cream cheese and all that um, in that pan. So, I have water in here. quickly going to just be adding the ingredients in fast motion and as I'm adding them I'll put a description of what I'm adding as I go and from there you're going to mix it until it turns into a liquidy kind of um, everything incorporates together so we'll do that and then we'll move on to the next <laughs>
So it is ready now. We are going to start the meringue and then after that we will fold in these uh, wet ingredients with the meringue and then we'll pass it on to the pan. So for my meringue I'm going to be using the KitchenAid to make the to whisk the egg whites. Uh, so you'll leave the cheese in the pan uh, so that it doesn't form any lumps. Uh, that way it stays warm and it stays watery. So now I'm going to make the meringue. So I'm going to add my whisk. So we'll put in the egg white. In low speed, we'll start uh, mixing to make the meringue. You'll increase the speed gradually and then you'll add the cream of tartar and then you'll mix until you form a peak in the meringue or it's stiff uh, when you lift it up. should end up so it's ready so now we're going to fold in the egg whites into the other mixture the wet ingredients and then we'll pass it on to the pan so I'm going to pass the wet ingredients into this uh, pan little by little we'll be adding the egg whites and remember to fold it in, never mix. Like I was uh, mentioning, this is my first time trying to make a Japanese cheesecake. Uh, a couple months ago, we ended up going to a restaurant called Ryubo. And they are they sell um, slices of pies there, different kinds. They have a brownie cheesecake that one's really good, and some other ones. It's right off of uh, the Cottonou Commons uh, shopping area, and uh, their pies are really good. So I got a Japanese cheesecake from them, and from there is where I got the idea that I should try it, and that I wanted to try it and um, make it myself. So hopefully it comes out and. If it comes out, then this will be my go-to dessert uh, for baking when I need to bake a cake. Uh, I really like their pies there, so hopefully it comes out. If it doesn't, at least I tried, and then I'll keep trying until it comes out. So, it is ready now. This is the consistency of it. What well, says to put it in a pan with water, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the water in that pan and uh, do it separately since it doesn't fit but I am going to put foil on here you're going to preheat your oven to 320 Fahrenheit and uh, once it's ready, you'll pop in the thing with water, and I'll show you. already and we'll let it hopefully it comes out um, sadly my pan was a nine inch and it didn't fit in that thing so hopefully it works out the way that I did it if not I'll just have to try again but uh, we'll wait for that and then I'll be back one eternity later so the cake is already done I don't know if you can see or tell but it's pretty 
uh, puffed up. I'm thinking that it did come out. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the oven and leave it in there for an additional 30 minutes. And then after that I will show you possibly tomorrow when we cut it how fluffy it looks. We're not cutting it today uh, because it is for a birthday. So I'm just going to let it cool and then I'll show you how jiggly it is. But I won't cut it because we aren't going to eat it today. But uh, I'll show you once I get it out. It's already done. I let it uh, rest 30 minutes inside the oven with it off. So I'm going to pull it out now and see how it came out. So this is what it looks like on the top. So one thing I did forget to mention was to leave it with the um, oven door slightly open uh, when, when it's cooling. So for right now I'm just going to take off the foil. jelloy or bouncy as you can see um, and I will show you tomorrow when we cut it how it looks once it's sliced up um, and give you a little preview of how it looks sliced up but overall I think it did come out it's just a little bit more deflated than the usual puffiness I'm going to add strawberries and whipped cream on it uh, just to give it some flavor but that's it guys Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!